Welcome to Booze on the Rocks, where we make cocktails for everyone. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. We're going to make an after work special. And you know what? It's simple, it looks easy, and super tasty. And if you think that people aren't willing to have a fruity drink after work, you'd be wrong. Now, we need five ingredients here, and one of those ingredients, of course, is orange juice. Now, you could choose to use a store-bought orange juice. However, in my case, I do prefer fresh fruit when possible, and I had some fruit in the uh, fridge, so why not? And I just want to squeeze a good two to three ounces, because I'll need two ounces of this. And let me tell you, this is nothing but some flesh <laughs> and uh, some really thick pits. I've never had an orange <laughs> literally get that stuck in before. And that's got a lot of, of uh, piss to it. Anyways, having said that, for this I'm actually going to need to squeeze a couple of different oranges just because I want to make sure that I get enough juice and whatever's left over I can just make a second cocktail if I want. Or you could actually pre-batch a bunch. Now, if you are get using uh, store-bought orange juice, just remember that you may have orange juice that has extra sugar added. And this cocktail does have a fair amount of sugar in it, just based on its ingredients, as you can see here. And I mean natural sugars, except for, well, maybe the uh, amaretto and the um, coconut rum. So just again, whatever you choose to do, uh, and depending on your personal taste is how you're going to make this cocktail, right? So What we'll do is put this off to the side and now grab yourself Your shaking glass now. This is a shaken cocktail simple easy And we're going to start this off with a little bit of white rum now. I've chosen to use some lambs uh, based on the Ingredients here don't go with anything top of the line You just want to go with some basic staples here and we're going to use three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Your second ingredient will be your favorite coconut rum. Now in this case, I have a little bit of uh, Malibu coconut rum. Some coconut rums will have a higher alcohol by volume percentage or ABV. And again, that will adjust the flavor of the cocktail. So whatever you have, make sure it all works together. Again, use the same amount of three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Our next ingredient is amaretto, and for that I'm going to use a little bit of Di Serrano. Uh, use whatever amaretto you can get your hands on. Uh, I find that the sweetness and the almond notes from the amaretto really does a lot to just kind of bump a cocktail up, but you'll use the same amount, three quarters of an ounce or 22 and a half mils. Next we're going to move to our fruit juices, and for that we'll start with our orange juice. Uh, Again, depending on the type of orange juice you use, you'll get a brighter or less bright color. However, we need a total of two ounces or 60 mils. And of course, next we're going to use a little bit of pineapple juice. Now I use a pure pressed pineapple juice, meaning there's no sugar added. We'll use the same amount of two ounces or 60 mils. After your pineapple juice, what we're going to do now is we're going to shake this. And so what we want to do is, oops, uh, we want to fill this glass full of ice, and we don't need to shake it super hard for a super long period of time. What we are going to do is dilute it uh, and get the correct chilling amount that we want. So really, all we need to do is shake this for maybe 10 seconds max, probably more like eight seconds. You're gonna do that with a smile. All right, so what you want to do, pop that off with the strength of a thousand oranges and put it off to the side. And you're going to grab your favorite glass of choice. In this case, I'm going to use a rocks glass because I really like them. And we're going to fill the glass with some fresh ice. Now, a good thing about this cocktail is that the pineapple juice, because it's relatively fresh, will actually foam up. And you'll get the same thing from good fresh orange juice as well. And just use your Hawthorne strainer and pour it on top. Wow, that looks really good, especially with that little bit of foam on top. So what I wanna do is have a little bit of fun. This next step is completely unnecessary. However, to give it a splash of color and a little bit of sweetness, grab yourself a nice little uh, red cocktail cherry, throw it on top, just like so. 
And here you have an after work special. Look at that. You just can't go wrong. Mm, yeah, <laughs> it's a good fruity cocktail drink. Not only does it have the orange and the pineapple juice, you do get the almond and a little bit of that coconut in the background. And you know what? You could absolutely knock back a bunch of these, no problem. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.